in the south like in the american south people will do something called i think it's noodling is when they use their hand to like catch catfish and then it does look like they're just sort of fisting a catfish's mouth like when they do the tickling thing i don't think they i think they just hold bait in their hand they put down like down in the like, water and a catfish like slurps onto their hand that actually I've just like oh yeah it's like, just like you can look fish up, up to here fish up yeah, to here like all the way fish up to Depending on the size of the catfish. Wow. I yeah, didn't like know you're not going on the other that. side. And how much, much foreplay you go catfish, through right? ahead of time. Mm. Oh, right. Important. That's what the tickling is. Maybe like yeah, well, I, maybe maybe this depends on how like generous of a fisherman you are, Will, or you know, fisher person, fisher. You can you can be any kind of fisher, honestly. There's a wiki how for all of it. Yeah. So this oh, actually no. segues beautifully into the first question I had written down for you, which is... It shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> well, then we'll jump to the second question, which is, uh, which, fist, which fish is the most erotic? <laughs> which fist? Honestly, fish. wow. That's a big question, though. What do you, like, part of it is, like, looking at taxonomy, like, what do you consider a fish? Right? Because obviously mammals aren't fish, but are, like, is a cephalopod a fish? Because a cuttlefish oh. is the most erotic animal. They love to cuddle. They're all about the foreplay. But are they a fish? See, I, I was hoping name, you were though. here to tell us what a fish is because... I'm like, not a marine biologist. I feel like I'm Popular less of Popular conception. I feel like we've kind of lost the thread there. I, I'm still not certain what a eels. fish is. Eels. Eels are probably the most sexual and sexy, like, classical fish. Okay. Classical yeah. fish. Like, are there are there new fish like Pokemon? Like, it's just like a new set of fish. Well, it's less like like you have the classical fish, like just a prototypical fish. That's going to be honestly. I think an eel counts as much as other people might argue about that. We also don't know where they fuck. They're very shy. I've heard that, and that's yeah. I think we're working on it. Science is getting there. Trying to put cameras in eel dens. Doing our Setting best. Up, yeah, pumping in a bunch of like soft beats for them. See so yeah. if they can set the mood just right. <laughs> would like would you say they're shy or prudish or have you looked at an eel? You know I don't think they're prudish. I I meant to look at an eel. It was like number one on my task list of preparing for you being on the show. And like again, it's the ADD thing. It's tragic. I think that's also what happens every time scientists try to figure out where eels fuck. To be fair. <laughs> Because where I was going with the question is I'm trying to think, like, for some reason I'm picturing, you know that whole, like, Mormon sheet thing? Is oh, it yeah. Mormons? Uh, it's, I don't know if that ever actually was a thing, but the, the rumor is definitely about Mormons. But, like, with eels, it would just be one hole, and the entire eel would still be going through the hole. Wait, wait, wait what kind of, do we know what kind of genitals they have? Functional what kind? Ones? Yeah, well, because, like, you know, you've got your you got your famous, your classic weird dick animals. You got ducks. Right. You got cats. Sure. Uh, you got the, the bed bugs that have the weird, like, uh, weaponized hypodermic stab dicks. Oh, that's really common in a lot of uh, fish. Like ovipositors? So, like, yeah. the lady has, or the female parts fish has a No, it's dick. usually the, the sperm... But like, oh. and then with some bed bugs, and then with some fish, it's not even like into a cloaca or like any kind of like hole. It's just like well, approximately where you're like where the eggs are gonna be. I'm just gonna stab through your flesh a little bit, and then pump a bunch of sperm in there. Right. Here's this for later. You're welcome. That's right. Yeah. 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 Like in the bed bug one, they like I believe they like crack open the chest entirely. It's like it's what? super brutal. Like you got two animals, they have right. cloacas. Are they the same kind of animal. Okay, two animals. I'm both thinking of have two cloaca. eels. I'm no, just... no, no. So a cloaca is like where eggs come out and also poop and also pee. Yeah. So everything so, hole. Yeah, it's the everything hole, but it is mostly for like female animals. So I thought uh, species with cloacas is just like both of their biological sexes. They have cloacas. They do the cloacal kiss, and everything just interacts. Oh, that could be. I'm not a biologist. I have heard well, of we're becoming that term one for some minute. reason before. Yeah. Cloacal kiss sounds like sounds Legit. so romantic. Yeah. Oh, oh I thought you were going to say like a metal band name. No, not quite. 
They're like hair metal. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure that's what birds slash dinosaurs do. I learned it from reading dinosaur comics, so that, that has to be why. <laughs> okay, can I... <laughs> Can I yeah. finally? I, I I'm really proud of this idea. What so idea? You've got eels, and they're they're prudish, or they're shy, or they're Mormon, or whatever, right? Sure. So same. You know, same you've you've got the classic <laughs> glory hole, which is like in well, even that's what the sheet is, right? It's a hole in the sheet yeah. for your external genitalia to pass through, right? Into the internal genitalia, yeah. Right, but if you both have cloacas, and you're trying um. to. You're trying to also, like, trying to appease your fish, eel, Mormon god. You could kind of get a reverse glory hole, which is sort of just like a little pipe that goes through the sheet. And you both kind of place your cloacas on it. And it's like kind of like a that's, double ender. You can stimulate yeah, each other so through the sheet. Yeah, so that's just a two-ended dildo. there's no cloaca to cloaca contact. Like and so it's two? not a sin in the eyes it's of Poseidon hollow? or whoever. Is you mean for it to be hollow? Um, well, I feel like it's hollow if you're trying to do insemination. Is it still insemination? Is that the term? Yeah. yeah and yeah. it's, it's, if you're just doing it for pleasure, then it's just like a, it's like a dowel. Right. A dowel. A dowel. Or just a regular double ender. <laughs> I don't know why dildo. it has to have such a, like a plain shape. <laughs> Using a dowel as a double ended dildo sounds like when you get tampons that are in like a cardboard tube. It's too dry. It's too scratchy. <laughs> At least yeah, sand I, it down. I, Totally yeah, released. <laughs> Bit of varnish, something to seal it up. I mean, it hopefully wouldn't be dry because you are underwater. Oh, right. That's true. I don't know if having it soggy would be better at that point. Yeah. Well, definitely not so if it's soft, cardboard. Also, would dowel soak in salt water <laughs> using the <this> double ended <laughs> dildo? Ooh, yeah, the salt up in there. I don't know. Not my first choice, but I'm not an eel, Mormon, fish. <laughs> 